Welcome, as I reveal a part of myself that's never been known. There's a seed in my soul that has yet to be sown. And while this piece of my persona has not been publicly known, she's nothing new. I simply haven't been true to my artist within. But keeping her hidden, I see now, is a sin. I've locked her away as an attempt at protection because I've never dealt well with rejection, but I'm growing bored of my own excuses, battered from the bruises I inflict on myself to suppress creative juices, all just to keep me confined because it's safer to be blind. If my eyes cannot see what others think of me, my poetry is free to flow outlandishly. But throw in your reaction, I'm now at risk of satisfaction. If you like me, devastation if you don't. And while I can try and promise that I won't outsource my worthiness, that's a big temptation. I am healing an addiction to validation. I can get high on appreciation. But that is not why I created this station. Au contraire, that's what has me scared. I've been so afraid to put these words on a stage because they are comfy on the page. Tucked away, no stress. But I must confess, you make me second guess everything. So to avoid that duress, I convinced myself no one would care what I had to share. And while that caveat's not rare, it really isn't fair to the hodgepodge of words the writer really wants to be heard, nor to the stranger who might learn from a person on the internet who puts her life in rhyme. I do it all the time for myself. And now I'm inviting you in. Come with me as I grow. And if you don't like me, don't let me know. Go find another show. Let me be another source of noise on the internet you scroll past and soon forget. And maybe I'll regret burying my soul into such a vast void. But I think I'd be a little more annoyed if I never took a stab at an art I enjoyed. So here is my attempt at powerful and poised.